Okay, so now let's do an example of calculating the isotope mass given the percent abundances and the mass of one of the isotopes but not the other. Okay, and so only two isotopes of boron exist in nature. The B10 isotope has a mass of 10.013 AMU and it's 19.61% abundant. The B11 isotope is 80.39% abundant. So what is the mass of the B11 isotope? Okay, now we're going to use the same equation as we did in the previous problem. And that is this average atomic mass is equal to the sum of the isotope mass so for each one multiplied by its fractional abundance. Okay? All right. Now on this one we have a small little twist though because we are given the mass of one of the isotopes and its abundance. Okay, so that's for B10. But we're only given the abundance for the B11 isotope and we're not explicitly given this either, the average atomic mass. Now, if we remember from the previous problem, then we will be reminded that this average atomic mass is actually on the periodic table. Okay, so that means if we go and we look at boron on our periodic table, then we're going to find out that this value is actually 10.811 AMU. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just fill in everything into our equation. Okay, so for the first term, let's go ahead and take care of B10. Okay, then we are going to have the B10 isotope. AMU, the mass, okay, the fractional abundance, so we're going to divide that 19.61% by 100, and we're going to get 0 0.1961, okay, and then we're going to add that to our next term, which is the B11 isotope, and this abundance for that divided by 100, which is 0 0.8. 039. So it's kind of squeezed there in the corner, but you can get the idea. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and fill in the numbers. Okay? So I'll try to write a little bit smaller this time. Okay? So 10.811 AMU is equal to, let's go ahead and fill in that first isotopic mass, which is 10.013. And we're going to multiply that by this 0.1961, okay? And then our next term, which is B11. We don't have that. That's what we're solving for. And then 0.8039, okay? All right. So now if we go ahead and multiply these two guys together and subtract this off from this side, add it to this other side, add it to the 10.811, okay? And then we're going to divide by this 0 0.8039, all right? So I'm going to go to the next slide, and I'm going to do that so that we can show these steps in solving it. Okay, so just rewriting 10.811 is equal to 10.013, AMU, this is AMU, okay, and then 0 0.1961, okay, and then plus B11 and 0 0.8039, okay. So, all right, so now let's get out the calculator. Let's go ahead and 10.811 AMU. And let's multiply 10.013 times 0 
and I get 1.9635, okay, let's go ahead and put in one more decimal point, a decimal place, so let's do that, 1.96354, 1 1.96355, okay, yep, so let's cut it off there, and then plus the 11, B11 isotope times 0 0.8039, Okay, so let's go ahead and subtract this off from both sides. Okay. I might not have enough room to squeeze that on there. Actually, I think I'm going to make it. Okay, so 10.811 minus 1.96355, and I get 8.84. 7, 4, 5, and that's going to be equal to the B11 isotope multiplied by 0 0.8039, okay? So now let's divide both sides by 0 0.8039, okay? So let's divide that, okay? And I get the isotopic mass for the B11 isotope to be 11.0057 AMU. Okay, so if we keep three decimal places as on our periodic table, then we're going to end up with 11.006 AMU. Okay, so the big key to these problems is to remember that you do have that average atomic mass or that average elemental mass on the periodic table that you can plug in. So that's this guy right here. So just, okay?